Bowling Green's Occupied movement is under pressure from the city government. A notice was issued to the organization demanding the occupiers dismantle their tent facility and remove all possessions from the alley on Wooster Street by noon today. Occupy protesters showed up in strong numbers to tell the police they won't be moved. While the city government stressed the occupiers could continue to protest in the alley without their possessions, the occupiers said that wasn't enough. You know, they said that people can stay and hold signs and, and distribute information. But I think it's important to acknowledge that an Occupy isn't just about the people being in this space. I mean, Occupy is about taking over the space. And so by setting up tents, by um, serving coffee, by having food, by sitting in chairs, I mean, we're literally occupying the space, right? And when you occupy something, you say, this is ours too. As the noon deadline neared, the Occupy group began strategizing on how to effectively and legally stop any force from removing their camp. Here. Um, have video cameras out, record as much as you can, and be as disruptive, disruptive as you can, and are willing to be um, to stand in solidarity, be strong, resist. Around noon, the group began chanting as they waited for police. Banks got bailed out, we got sold out. Banks got bailed out, we got sold out. It's past noon already, and while the intensity has died down, the occupiers are still occupying. No police force confronted the occupiers for the remainder of the afternoon, and the protesters hope to continue their efforts indefinitely. The demonstration will branch out and grow into bigger and better ideas. No matter how hard they try, they cannot evict an idea. Reporting for BG24 News, John Subterello.